country agreement violates the right of people to security when they present themselves on Canadian soil and say we're requesting protection from the Canadian government. The Canadian government is saying no. Refugee rights advocates, community workers and Montrealers have come together Saturday to march for the rights of asylum seekers. This comes after the Supreme Court of Canada ruled Friday that the expansion of the safe third country agreement was constitutional. And this is just another example of decision makers reading the letter of the law but not not realizing the effect of the law on people in really vulnerable situations. The unanimous decision made by the Supreme Court says the agreement that allows would-be asylum seekers to be turned back at the international border does not violate Section 7 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom, the right to life, liberty and security of a person. But for those there, they say that's exactly what it does, as the U.S. is not safe for many asylum seekers. There are something like a thousand children still in detention, separated from their families in the United States. The U.S. is not a safe country. Uh, Canada has a refugee protection system that is admired in the world, that has a higher level of integrity, and we need to provide asylum seekers with access to that protection. In March, both Canada and the U.S. agreed to expand the agreement so that it would apply across the 8,900 kilometers of shared border, not just at official crossings. Before then, a loophole allowed asylum seekers to cross irregular land borders to make claims in Canada despite having arrived in the U.S. first. With Supreme Court ruling in favour of the agreement, those marching say the move will have disastrous consequences. Canada is essentially sort of criminalizing migration, criminalizing this kind of uh, seeking out of protection and creating a fortress along the border and it's not what we should be doing. It doesn't work. Uh, people, Desperate people will still try to seek protection and it just puts them in more danger. For Emily Duchesne, a Montrealer taking part in the march, she says it's now more important than ever before to provide compassion to those seeking asylum. They're just normal people in extraordinary situations. You know, they're just parents who want to protect their kids. Um, nobody comes here on a whim knowing that they could die trying to cross. It's people who are desperate and who need us to be compassionate. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.